Hello friends and family, my name is Daniel Burrell and welcome to Happier Chicken's Mental Health because apparently I only do videos when I'm tending to the chickens now. I wanted to make this quick video while I have time because I don't have a lot of time during the day lately with the kids. It's been a little busy so I wanted to make this video and just kind of say hi. I started my job today. I've worked at this job before, so it wasn't anything new. I was really, I was uh, real excited to come back. I'm really happy to be back. Sorry, I gotta shut the chicken door too. Because it was a great job. It was a great opportunity for me. I left before because I wanted to go on uh, paternity leave technically with Felix and just take some time off and spend some time with him. So I did the stay at home dad thing for a while and that was a lot of fun. And then we found out that we were pregnant again. Lindsay was pregnant again. I shouldn't say we because I'm not gonna lie. I didn't do most of the work. <laughs> And I don't want her to get mad at me for saying, well, we did a lot of work together and we had this beautiful baby. <laughs> so, um, yeah, <laughs> Lindsay did all the work. We found out that she was pregnant and I, I tried to get some kind of temp jobs that would do for a bit. Good night, ladies. They didn't work out. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook. If wherever you follow me, you would probably know that it didn't work out. <laughs> That's unfortunate. But I'm really glad that I'm back where I am. I'm really excited to um, get started on this journey. I think this will be really good for me. I get the summers off with Lindsay because it's a school job. And that's really nice because like we have the whole summer to do stuff with our kids. We have most of the same breaks. So it's not like scheduling is ever an issue. And that's always really nice. Yeah, so I just wanted to make this quick. I don't want to make too long of a video with this quality because uh, if you didn't notice, this is kind of crap quality <laughs> because I'm tending to the chickens. I only ever have time to record when I'm outside basically because my kids are very loud <laughs> and I don't want Felix to be the entirety of my videos. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just wanted to ask the question to how have you been doing? How has my audience been doing? I know there's not very many of you that watch my videos, but like, how are you doing? Is everything going well? Is February hard on you? Because February has always been pretty hard on me. And it's always... Oh, okay, I gotta take off my glasses now. February is always that month that you you're just so down in the dumps. Like I always have this magical theory that I'm gonna work on myself in January and it doesn't happen because January is just a garbage month and it's really tough on most people. And it's just not a good month to start working on yourself. Like don't make New Year's resolutions, make March resolutions, May resolutions, those are more reasonable. Because if you're going to start something in the dead of winter when the weather is just awful, you're, it's, it's not going to be as easy as if you have some things under control, like the weather isn't garbage and you're not dealing with so much. So, yeah, um, I've been sick for most of 2020 so far. It's been a little rough. 
but I think I'm over it now. Uh, knock on wood, because I I have like a slight cold, and I've had a sore throat like once or twice in the last couple of weeks. But it's not a flu. It's not whatever else I've had. So I'm really I'm really glad that I'm feeling somewhat better. Now I can start trying to work on my mental health and we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. It might not go very well. And that's part of, it's part of the journey of mental health is it might go great for no reason, or it might go very poorly despite you doing so many things to work on it. And that's always, that's always been something that I keep in mind when I'm working towards my mental health is I want to make sure that I'm in a good headspace and I remember that I can do everything right and it'll still fall apart because it's a chemical imbalance in my brain. I can work out, eat healthy, <laughs> do all this, do all this stuff and feel worse because it's a chemical imbalance. Like that stuff will help but it's not promised that it'll always help. And that's one thing to remember. Just don't rely on anything to like be the wonderful miracle that's going to help you feel better. That being said, like take the take the small victories, appreciate all you have in life. Like despite feeling like crap some days, I wake up every morning and I'm just like, oh, I love my kids. They're so cute. And then I go out and do the chickens and I'm just like, I have such a beautiful place to live. And I'm so glad that I get to do this kind of stuff. Like it's, it's the small things. You need to take the small victories and you need to just appreciate what you have. And yeah, just, I, I don't want to keep ranting, so I'm just going to end it there. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, then subscribe and like, whatever that does, um, whatever else. Follow me on Twitter at HD Mental Health and at Schmoopy Dan. Follow me on Instagram at Schmoopy Dan. And uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.